have a very special guest coming to visit our parish and our school starting later this afternoon. Does anybody know who it is? Wow, right out of the bat, Solanus Casey. Yeah, who's Solanus Casey? Who knows who Solanus Casey is? Yeah, so get this. Here's a guy who was a Franciscan, who's a Capuchin. So that, anybody here like Cappuccino? Yeah, you know what, so that's what he is. He's not the coffee. So Cappuccino, that's the, it's an Italian word, huh? That's the name of this religious order because the color of the clothes they wear, it looks like Cappuccino. All right, so he's a Capuchin. So this man, he went to, wanted to become a priest and took a long time for him to become one. They didn't think he was ever going to really amount to anything. And so they gave him the task of opening the door at this place down in Detroit. Who's been to the Solanus Casey Center or St. Bonaventure's? Wow, a lot of us have. All right. So I go down there about every other week. That's where all the priests go to confession. So you guys go to confession sometimes. Some of us are preparing for first confession. If you want to see where the priests go to confession, go to St. Bonaventure's. That's where we're all in line. Okay, so, so here's how I think of Solanus Casey. So he didn't live all that long ago. He died right about the time that I was born. So he's not that long ago. He lived right here in Detroit. And he did nothing. But that's how I think about it. He did nothing. He opened the door. Right? Like, how hard is that? People came, they knocked... He opened the door. But he didn't just open the door, right? He opened the door, and everybody he saw, he just kind of overwhelmed with God's love and kindness. Because he shows me that we can be great in doing little tiny things really, really well. Right? So he's, this man's going to be a saint. He's already a blessed He's going to be a saint. And he opened the door. That means there's hope for me, right? And there's hope for you. So today, just today, you can do great things just by being kind to everybody that you see in class, in the hallways, on the playground, in the lunchroom, wherever we are, right? So here's the other thing about Solanus. So is he really going to come to visit us? Yeah, he is. Now, we're only going to get a little piece of his body. All right? That's... So who here, like, loves sports? Okay. So who here has a jersey that was worn by somebody who plays in professional sports? Anybody? Hunter, you got one? You got a jersey from someone who played in a game? So relics are like that. They're, they're either clothes the saints wore... Or actually, sometimes, they're parts of their body. So we have part of Solanus's hand coming. Kind of strange, but that's the part that opened the door. All right? So he's really here. So this is what we're going to say in just a second in Mass. This is how we talk about the saints. Because they're not dead. Right? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah, are, are the people in heaven dead? No. They're more alive than I am. And you are, right? The goal of life is to get home. Home is heaven. So here's, this is what we're going to say in just a second. Listen to this. For you, God, are praised in the company of your saints. By their way of life, you offer us an example. So Solanus gives us an example. He teaches us that we can do little things with great love. And in doing that, we can become great. So he gives us an example. By their communion with them, you give us companionship. In other words, they're our friends. Like they pray for us right now. I have on the altar two pictures. One's my mom, one's my dad. They're always in front of me. They're, they're not here anymore. But they're not dead. 
And so I talk to them. I still have companionship with them. Just like I have companionship with Solanus. Solanus wants to be your friend. The saints want us to get to know them. By their intercession, it says, we get sure support. So they pray for us for help. So maybe some of us here, we struggle with being kind. Right? Anybody here struggle with being kind? I do. All the time. (laughs) Terrible thing to admit. So Solanus is this great intercessor for those of us who struggle with being kind. So we can say something as simple as this today. Solanus, help me to see the face of Jesus in every person that I meet today. Okay? So let's thank God today for the gift of this man who's coming to see us. Let's thank him for the fact that he's praying for us right now, and let's ask him to pray for us especially, that we will see the face of Jesus in everybody that we meet, and that we'll just try to do everything we do today, however small it might seem, with great love. All right? Let's stand and pray.